晚安，欢迎大家来参加我们欧洲教育系列讲座。那我们今天的第一场，从七点到七点四十五分，呃，是邀请到 IMT Atlantic， 呃，大象国立高等矿业暨电信学院来为我们就是呃简介他们学校的部分。Uh, today we are regard to invite um Mrs. Dehanis uh from uh, IMT Atlantic, and she will introduce her school. And then a program, and then she will give a very short, uh, brief introduction of this. So, Bernice, can we handle the session to you right now? Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay. 大家晚上好 Bonsoir à tous. Hi, everyone. Thank you for registering for this webinar. Thank you to the European Education Fair in Taiwan for this opportunity, and thank you to Campus France for your support. So my name is Berenice. I'm one of the coordinators of the master's programs recruitment for IMT Atlantic. So today I'm very glad to give you an overall presentation of this graduate engineering school. I will have a special focus on the master's programs offered in English, and I will also present the related application process. And uh, at the end of the webinar, we'll have time for questions and answer sessions. So feel free to send you uh, your to send your question at that time. All right. IMT Atlantic is a graduate engineering school. Its fields of expertise are digital technology, energy, and environment. It is a member of IMT, the number one group of public engineering and management higher education institutions in France. It counts about 14,000 students, 30% of whom are international students. IMT Atlantic is what we call a graduate engineering school in France. So it provides high standard education to the best students admitted through a highly selective process. The Institute maintains strong relationships with companies and industries. Research has a great international exposure to, thanks to collaborations with the world's best scientific institutions and international research networks. So to summarize, IMT Atlantic is committed into education, research, and innovation on the international stage. This is a first choice institution to study engineering in France. Our institute is also recognized in the world's most prestigious rankings, such as Shanghai ranking, QS, and Times Higher Education. So this is a world-class institution. So about the location, we have three campuses in the western part of France, in the cities called Brest, Boulesset, Nantes, Nantes, and Rennes, Léon. Each campus offers a nice, green and safe environment. They provide all facilities for students, such as dormitories, sports facilities, restaurant, library, etc. But you're probably curious uh, about our programs often. So here you see the list of uh, the main courses IMT Atlantic offers. As you can see, some are taught in French, when you see the French flag, and others in English. And we also have uh, bilingual trainings. However, today, uh, we will mainly focus on the Masters of Science programs taught in English. These programs are the best match for the international students applying as free movers like you, because they are taught in English and they offer a convenient online admission process. I will talk about this process later. Uh, so you can see we have a master's program in information technology, in logistics and supply chain, 
in process and bioprocess engineering and in nuclear engineering. So all the courses are taught in English. These are international programs. Most of the students come from abroad, actually. The teaching faculty is also made of French and international um, professors. We also offer bilingual master's program in information technology with a different track and in nuclear medical application. So for these programs, uh, courses are taught in English during the first semester or the first year so that students can start their studies more easily before switching to French language. Uh, you can find the detailed syllabus of all these master's programs on our uh, website. But basically, um, to give you more information about the, the, the structure and content, all our master's programs have a common structure. They are made of four semesters spread over two years, including, uh, of course, scientific and technical courses. But they also include other kinds of academic activities. The objective is, is to provide the students with uh, intercultural skills, the ability to work in group with some students who have different culture, uh, to offer the students many interactions with professionals and many opportunities to meet industries through conferences, seminars, projects. The programs also include some French language and culture classes, about uh, three hours per week. So even if our master's programs are taught in English, it is important to get familiar with the local language in order to make your daily life easier, more comfortable. And also to prepare for an experience in a French company. Indeed, all our master's programs include a six month internship. So you can see here on the picture, the three academic semesters in blue. And then the last semester is an internship and master studies here in green. So to give you more information about this internship experience, students have to run a six month project in order to complete their master, th master thesis. If they're interested in industry, then they have to look for an internship in a company. During their studies, they already had opportunities to meet professionals, to create their own network, which is very helpful to look for an internship. If the students need uh, additional support, IMT Atlantic also has a specific department for companies' relation relationships. And this department can help students to find internship in the field of interest. IMT Atlantic is well recognized by the industrial world. So most of the time, students can get some great internship uh, projects in renowned companies, such as the one you can see here on the slide. Uh, you have uh, Porsche, uh, Michelin, Olaya, Chetielong, Bienroliroi, Adidas. You see some nice company. This internship can be done in France or in any other country. It can even be in your home countries if you want to go back uh, to your country earlier, then you can choose to have the six month internship um, at home. If of course you have found uh, uh, an, uh, a nice uh, internship opportunity. The master's programs can also benefit from IMT Atlantic world-class research facilities. Research internships are possible within our research department. So the master's students who are more interested in research and want to continue in PhD can choose to have the six months master's thesis not in a company, but uh, in a research department of IMT Atlantic, for example, uh, it can be in the field of water treatment systems in our research department in uh, energy and environment, or also to study some subjects related to subatomic physics in our nuclear engineering research department. 
Of course, these are only examples of math studies. Students can also join any lab in France or abroad to perform their six months research internship. So as you can see, our master's programs give students the opportunity to focus either on research or on industry. Each student can choose to turn his profile to the industrial world or to a research-oriented career. All right, and that's where we're going to talk about the application process. Uh, application is open for all our master's programs at the moment. So all the programs that I have just presented in information technology uh, with a spring in tech. So it means that students have to apply before November 15th. So about one more one month left. And for uh, the other programs, management of production and logistics, nuclear engineering, process and bioprocess engineering, we have a fall in tech every year. So if you want to join Next in Tech in 2021, then you can start applying from now because our platforms are already open and you have until May 15th, 2025 to submit your application. So let's see now what you should prepare to apply for our programs. So we have tried to offer the most convenient process for international students. We have online platform for each master's program on which you can easily register and send your application for free. There's no application fee. Application is mainly based on the document that you can see here. So we require a university transcript, copy of your diploma or certificate of your university if you're a senior student. You also have to provide a resume, a motivation letter, two references letters from your professors or uh, tutors if you had some uh, internship experience before, or from your uh, company if you have already some work experience. And also we require an English test for non-native speakers. So it can be IELTS test or TOEFL. But I just want to focus on this motivation letter because that's a document which is very important for our selection committee. Actually, this document, uh, um, in this document, the students has to demonstrate uh, he or she has the necessary skills and motivation, of course, to succeed in the program. And we also expect he talks about the professional career plans he has. So this document has to be very, very specific. Of course, it targets the program you would like to join and you have to explain very clearly uh, what you expect from the program, what you would like to learn, why you think you fit to this program and what you would like to do after. So we have to make sure that your profile matches uh, with uh, this uh, master program. We also give uh, the students the opportunity to strengthen their application with an online interview. It aims at better understanding the motivation of the student, uh, expectation to also to check its English uh, level and its open-mindedness. It's just a few questions that you can have. It's a pre-recorded interview system. It means that you can do it anytime you just don't have to uh, care about jet lag or anything. You choose when you want to schedule your interview and then uh, you uh, answer online on pre-recorded questions that will, our jury will, um, will, uh, we will see after, sorry. So remember, application is free, convenient and fast. So what happens uh, once we receive your application, our selection jury needs a few weeks to give you the result. If you're selected, then we send you the admission letter by email. We assess a student's application on a monthly basis. So something important to remember, the sooner you apply, the sooner you get the result. And an admission letter, of course. During the whole application, 
admission and registration process. IMT Atlantic counselors are available to answer your emails. Whenever you have a question, if you need any clarification or advice for your application, we answer students' requests individually and provide information in regard to each student's situation. Also, if you have any doubt about your eligibility for a program, if you're not sure uh, that your bachelor background match, matches with a, a program, then feel free to send us your resume, a copy of your bachelor transcript, and then we can recommend you uh, the best master program according to your background. Another important thing, admitted students can be selected for scholarships awarded uh, as partial tuition fee waivers. So depending on the quality of your master application, if uh, you've been rated excellent or top excellent by our selection committee, then you can get some reduced tuition fee up to 50%. We also offer tuition fee waiver to the graduate students of our partner universities. In Taiwan, we have partnership with the following universities, National Tsinghua University, National Chiateng University, National Ilan University. Sorry, I hope I, my pronunciation was not too bad. Um, so student with a bachelor degree from one of these universities can enjoy reduced tuition fee. And besides, the good news today is that we also offer a special tuition fee waiver to each of you to thank you for attending this webinar. So don't forget to mention that you have participated to this webinar, to this presentation, when you will send us your master's application and you will get uh, a discount on, on the fee if you're selected for our program. Um, I have one more slide before completing this presentation, if you still have some doubts. Here are a few more reasons why you should consider joining a master's program at IMT Atlantic. First of all is to get a master's degree from a worldwide renowned graduate engineering school, uh, which is recognized in the international rankings. So it will always be a plus when you will look for a job, you have this uh, diploma. Then um, you can uh, live in France and study in English. That's uh, why we offer some uh, master's program taught in English. So international students don't have to waste one or two years in their home country to learn French and then go abroad for their studies. Right after your bachelor degree, you can join our master's program and uh, you will learn French also here at the same time. But all the courses are taught in English, so you don't need any prerequisites in French to join our programs. Of course, it's always better to, to know a little bit of French for your daily life. Besides, you can also uh, get a prof professional experience in a company. Uh, also, if you want to continue in PhD, that's uh, a good springboard. You can also make uh, some friends from all over the world and extend your international network because about 90% of the students uh, in our master's programs are international students. They come from all the, all the, all the world. We have some students from uh, Latin America, from Africa, from Asia, of course, and from Europe. So you can re really create your own international network. It will be useful for your professional life and also your personal life uh, in the future. Uh, here in France, you can enjoy, enjoy some uh, cheap living expenses, uh, especially on our campuses, which are really, uh, life is really cheaper than in Paris. You can also learn the French language during your stay and decide to stay in Europe uh, during one year after your studies in order to look for a job. So that's many uh, reasons to choose our institute for your master studies. You can also check our FAQ for international students. Here you have the website uh, with 
many questions and answers. Uh, but right now, if you have some questions, I will be very happy to answer you, to give you more information uh, about um, our school, our master's programs, application, life in France and on campus. So feel free to send your question. That's all for me right now. All right. Thank you, Veronique. Thank you. So now we are welcoming uh, all the questions from the audience. Uh, well, actually, we already have one. Uh, it's regarding the uh, requirement for language task. So you have mentioned like uh, for the application, students can submit their uh, either IELTS or TOEFLs. Um, like, um, exactly. So, and do you have like any requirement, like a minimum score for that? Yes, yes. So for the IELTS, test we require 6.0 minimum and for TOEFL it's 80 TOEFL IBT of course 80 yeah. minimum and do you accept TOEIC as well or not uh, sorry which one TOEIC uh, actually very very few students international students use this uh, test but we do accept it so I, I don't remember the minimum score but I think it's 860 or something like this so, sorry um, I don't have the, um, the exact score right now but uh, if the student want to contact us uh, I can check and uh, send the, the, the information actually yes here I should put this you have the uh, email to contact us if you want if you have uh, any other questions after so it's already on the screen just behind the uh, school website right that's uh, international at imt atlantic fa yes that's the one like if the like, audience is interested uh, in more details they can contact you through this email exactly sure. then what about like uh since you offer like a program totally taught in English, but you also offer like bilingual ones. Uh, is any requirement for French level class if they want to so, apply for a bilingual program? Um, we don't have uh, any, uh, we will not require a French test. However, if, uh, I mean, it is highly recommended that the student has already some basics in French language. For example, if you receive an application of a student who wants to, to join uh, a bilingual master program. Uh, if we see that the student has not started learning French at all, then it will be difficult for us to select uh, the student. So at least uh, you, the students have to uh, prove that they have already started learning the language, maybe in a, in a, in a school, a language school or something like this. Um, but we don't have a requirement of French test. So um, that's like the, even, the, like, even like apply for the French course or it's uh, for international student only English test requirement is important. Yes, this uh, uh, these these tests are important, but um, for the application of uh, bilingual programs, we don't have this requirement of French test. We really hope that the student has already started learning French and we will check it in the resume and uh, maybe uh, during the interview. Uh, but uh, it's really on the responsibility of the student to start learning French before coming to France. But of course, this bilingual program will start in English. So the student will have one semester or one year, depending on the program chosen, to improve French. And uh, during this one semester or one year, he will have a uh, French language every week to improve. And also, you know that when you live in the country, of course, you improve faster than if you stay in your home country and only have some language classes. Uh, we also uh, uh, let's talk about the tuition fee since we talk about the scholarship still. So, uh, could you give us uh, like, around how much it would be for the tuition, like say for two year um, master program? Like, uh, the yes. Students, 
I see in like data science. Yes. Can you still see my screen? Yes, we are still with you on the PowerPoint slide. Yes. So here we have uh, the master program in information technology uh, is five hand, uh, sorry, 5,100 euro per year for the tuition fee. Um, the three others, um, logistic, nuclear engineering, process and bioprocess engineering, uh, are 12,000 euros per year. Um, why it is different? Because here in information technology, the students will uh, join the courses for French students, actually, uh, in the coming semesters. Uh, here, uh, for the other three programs, that's only some programs created uh, for uh, uh, they are running on their own, and we have uh, some uh, professors also professors coming from abroad who are experts in this field. That's why uh, the tuition fees are a bit higher for this program. Then, uh, if you come, as I explained, if you come from a, um, university, uh, a partner university, so I mentioned the three ones uh, earlier, then you have half tuition fee. You can get a discount of half tuition fee. Um, I don't know if I should repeat the name of the university, but I'm just afraid to, <laughs> to say wrong in there. I mean, uh, I cannot pronounce very well, but if you're a student from National Tsinghua University or National Chiaotang University, National Ilan University, then you have half price uh, for the tuition fee. And beside, as I explained, also we offer some excellence and top excellence uh, uh, scholarship. So when we receive your master application, we assess each document, we assess um, your profile, and then um, our selection jury will give the student uh, a mark. And uh, the top best and the best applica applicants uh, can get uh, a very reduced tuition fee. Uh, it can reduce a third or half also. So if we think you really have the right profile, you're very motivated to join our program, then we can award you this excellent uh, scholarship, which is uh, uh, actually a partial tuition fee waiver. Sure. And oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, sorry, just one more thing. Actually, as um, a, uh, application is free, so we uh, really recommend the student to apply, to prepare a good application and apply to see uh, if they're admitted, of course, but uh, what rate can they get uh, because of the, the quality of the application? Mm. That means. Uh, uh, the student, uh, if they are interested about the, uh, the scholarships, they don't have to apply for it. Like, no, they will be all Yes, exactly. They will be automatically all processed in the exactly. scholarship uh, they apply for your program. Yes, all the master's application are automatic, automatically considered for scholarship uh, reduced tuition fee. And as long as they are from your like, sister school, like sister university in Taiwan, they will also be automatically enrolled in the uh, uh, tuition waiver. Yes. yes. So how they how can we, uh, tuition be waived? Like, is it for the one semester or is it for both two year program? For both two year for the total tuition fee. For example, if a student want to join this program in management of production and logistics, so the regular tuition fee is 12,000 uh, euro per year. So in total for two years, it's 24,000 euros. But then if he is from a, a partner university, then he will pay half of the total price. So only 6,000 for one, uh, one year. Mm -hmm. And if... Uh, for example, is not from a, a partner university, but his application is considered uh, like top excellent. Then also he will be awarded a uh, uh, half tuition fee. So, 
So, like, uh, aside from the, um, let's say, uh, money, money side, uh, I believe a lot of audience will be uh, paying a lot of attention to their career development after graduation. So, could you talk us, uh, probably give us some state, uh, statistics about, like, for how many, like, how many percentage of international students may have a chance to live in France or may stay in Europe for their jobs or future research development? Mm. So uh, first, uh, the before before the career, so as I've explained, you have a six month internship. Uh, this internship can be in France or abroad, but we have about 70% of the students who stay in France to have this internship in a French company, French or international company, but in France. So, um, of course, this is a very important springboard to find a job in France if you already had a work experience, an internship experience in France. Um, then, um, because uh, it's international programs. So uh, we have some students from many countries. Most of the students actually want to go back to their home country when they graduate and find mm -hmm. some job in their home country. But for the others, uh, you have one year uh, visa extension after you, master, after you get your master degree. So you can stay in France and look for a job in France. Uh, or if you want to also to create your own company, you can use this one year time to to establish all the the process for your company. Um, so we have uh, uh, um, I don't know exactly the, the percentage because I explain many students want to to go back home, uh, but. Uh, we also have many students who can find a job in France, but actually that's not only uh, in France, but in Europe, because um, actually you come for your studies to France. Of course, you have uh, this uh, experience in uh, French companies of a French uh, school, uh, but uh, also you, I mean, when you live in France, it's like you, you also, um, living in Europe so you have uh, you can travel easily to uh, other European countries and it's also quite easy to get a job in uh, other European countries so I know that some previous student um, could find some work for example in Germany or in Belgium or Italy I mean it's not only some opportunities in France that you can have, but you can also get some opportunities in Europe for your professional careers. Then um, about uh, companies, as I explained, um, because we are a graduate engineering school, so uh, we have some very strong relationships with the companies. Our programs, our master's programs are created according to the needs of the companies. So the students who have graduate from a program really have some um, um, jobs offer are, uh, are really, um, I mean, the, the, the students, uh, thanks to this master's program, can really meet the um, job market. So uh, students can have many opportunities and especially the companies who know us very well, such as the, the, the biggest French company or international companies. Here you see that some example of uh, internship uh, places where the students can have their internships. And that's also the same kind of companies where students can find a job afterwards. Uh, many of our students actually have a six month internship in a company. And then if they're done well, uh, and if the company has a certain need, then they can be hired directly in the same company and they can just uh, uh, work directly. We have, um, after graduation, we have like 80% of the students who can find a job in the, uh, within three months and all the students can find a job within maximum six months. Whether they're international student or French student. Yes. Uh, if the student choose to like 
after their internship in France, uh, is it paid jobs or? Yes, yes, exactly. Um, so on average, uh, a student doing a company, um, a, sorry, an internship in a French company gets uh, 800 euros per month as an in incentive, of course. It's not a real salary, but for example, with 800 euros here, uh, that's more than enough to live one month for your uh, living expenses. So it's an average 800 euros, and for the best, uh, the best uh, internships, or maybe the best students also, uh, it can be up to 1,500 or 600 euros per month. That's for company. Um, for the students who are interested in research and who plan to have a, an internship in a lab, you have to know that uh, the incentive will be lower. That's just like this in France. The research internship are paid around 400 to 500 euros per month. And how about the starting salary um, like for IMT Atlantic students? Uh, after they finish their program in the school, will be the average starting salary if, if they find a job in France. That's uh, that's actually that's not really applicable for these master's programs because they are international programs. And as I said, many students go to their home country to find a job. So you cannot compare the salary uh, salary in Africa or salary in US or in Europe. So um, we don't have, it, it's not possible to, 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 to have this uh, figure. Sure. Is it uh, like for those students who go back to their country, like home country, uh, for jobs? Uh, is it because uh, it's hard to find, like, as an international student, say the foreigner in France, it's harder to find a job or it's actually, uh, it's actually based mm -hmm. on their own? Many so of them. Is a personal choice because they have their family there. Uh, also, sometimes they are already married because in this uh, master's program, the average age of student is about 25, 26 years old because many of them already have some work experience. It's not mandatory at all. We also have some fresh graduates who are just 22, 23 years old, but we also have some uh, students a bit older, uh, 27, 28. So if they are already married, of course, they will go back to their country. Um, or even if not married, they have the family. Mm -hmm. um, it's not, uh, of course, it's, it's not easy to find a, a job in France. That's, I mean, when you're an international student, you have to compete with French students who know France better, French language better, uh, the culture better. So you cannot compete with these students for on the job market in France. But uh, of course, in France, you can find some companies, some um, uh, quite big companies or, or, or international, company. international companies who would like to implement some project with, uh, for example, Taiwan, um, uh, who would like to open a new uh, uh, office in Taiwan or would like to know the market in Taiwan. And then in this situation, yes, of course, if you're a student from Taiwan, of course, you will be, you will have more chances than a French student for this kind of job. So, I mean, in international students cannot, I mean, take the, the job of French student or I mean the, the French market, but the, they will have some other um, advantages on French people, on French students uh, for this kind of international jobs. The, um, if a student like um, he or she already finished master program uh, with uh, IMT, but he or she is not sure whether she should uh, either study PhD or actually uh, get to work. Uh, does the school provide any like consulting service for the student if they are not sure whether their background or their um, academic uh, studies or uh, achievement should be developed into an industry? 
this uh, school can provide advice for the student? Yes, actually during the program, we have some uh, personal coaching uh, session. It means that the student will have a few meetings with some professors, which who also are sometimes some um, professor from the corporate world. They are also working outside. They have a company or they work in a lab anyway. So the students have this meeting to think about what he would like to do. Uh, so that's during the program because um, at the end of the program in the last semester, as I explained, uh, it's uh, uh, an internship and the student has to choose between industry or research. And at this time, um, usually the student has already uh, decided uh, what he would like to do. So thanks to this uh, coaching session, this uh, personal interview to, to know what, what I want to do with my life, with my person, with my professional uh, uh, objective, then uh, you, the student know if he prefers industry research, and then he goes for the internship six months, and after that, usually he will continue in the same in the same way. So if he has already done a, a, an internship in a company, then he will continue in this way, or if it were uh, uh, an internship in a lab, then he will continue uh, in research, a PhD. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, they can make decision after uh, their self-evaluation and discussion uh, during the program. Right. Okay. Uh, exactly. I think we can have a last question for now. Yeah. Uh, so we all know that like, the whole world is now affected by coronavirus. Um, and then if the like, students uh, already enrolled in IMT, but they are facing some problems because of coronavirus, does this school provide any support or assistance for that? Yes, sure. Actually, um, for these uh, international programs that started uh, just a few days ago for the fall uh, 2020 Intech, we have um, adapted our education uh, delivery format because of the pandemic so that everybody who is registered in the program can follow uh, the courses. So uh, presently, the students uh, can follow online courses if they are still in their country because they couldn't get out of the country because they couldn't get the visa and everything. And we also have some students who already arrived on campus. So they are here. They're also following the uh, um, online courses, but they are also because um, as I said before, uh, our program includes some kind of courses, but all, also other academic activities like projects. So for the project, uh, the students who are already on site here on campus, they're working together and students who are still online. So they are doing the projects online. So uh, because of the pandemic, we had to, to adapt to uh, different ways of education and we are already uh, ready because it started last March and uh, so we now know how to face situation and how to solve uh, this um, uh, uh, education uh, delivery if we have some other uh, problems. But we do hope that we will not have to uh, to 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 make to to give the distance to put the, the all the students in distance learning in the future, but. In case, in case there are still some other problems, we are ready to to adapt the education format. Or either uh, they have some like interpersonal, or they are facing some interpersonal problems because of the coronavirus. They may also consult to the school, and then they can seek like personal assistance from you. You mean if they are already on campus, if they are abroad, because like for example. Um, they may face some problem or difficulty. Yes, sure, of course. I mean, if a stu if some students here on campus are infected, then we have all this uh, process to uh, uh, to help the student. And also uh, here we have uh, the the French hospital. I mean, you can 
be, uh, I mean, anybody can go to the hospital and uh, uh, the student doesn't have to pay anything for that. So, I mean, we will uh, help the student for sure if something happened. There's also, um, I was not sure to understand your question, but in case uh, we also uh, explain the student that if you, you, you want to register for a program, then you register, you have already paid the tuition fee, but unfortunately you're still in your country and you got infected uh, by the virus and cannot join the program, then uh, of course we can find some arrangement. So uh, you can be reimbursed or we can defer admission for one year uh, I mean, we can find some solution, of course. Uh, our objective is to uh, uh, help the students um, from any country uh, to join our programs uh, and uh, whatever the, the, the situation, the, the sanitary situation is in the world. Sure. Thank you so much. Uh, I think the presentation is pretty clear. Uh, we have no, like, what we can do, uh, all things should do. Uh, if they are interested in your program, and how they can apply for it, what they should be prepared for that. And you have to, uh, especially mentioned the uh, motivation letter, which is very important during evaluation. Uh, and then we have most of the questions off as well. So thank you very much, Pahanis. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for participating to this webinar. And I hope you will be motivated to join IMT Atlantic. In the coming index, uh, thank you for your the the technical support. Thank you very much. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 相关科系上有什么特别需要注意的地方？好，谢谢。谢谢我们主持人Jade。呃，现在呢，我们可以利用中场休息十分钟。那呃，希望同学呢，呃，可以休息一下，但是不要离开哦，因为我们呃一样，
呃，我们在法国取得学位学程，就是呃有拿到学位的话呢，你的居留哦，就是你可以停在法国的时间，会自动帮帮你展延一年。那展延一年，有些人当然就是直接投入职场哈、哦。那当然在法国有很多是国际企业啦，也有可能你是。呃，那个被派到其他国家，哈、哦，呃，所以也不一定是在法国，哈、哦，有可能是在欧洲或者是、呃、欧洲以外的地区。但是无论如何，呃，不管你有没有取得这个、呃、工作机会，拿到学位之后，居留证呢都会自动展延一年。你可以找工作，也可以自己在那边创业，哈、哦，都其实呢，现在有很多台湾同学呢。呃，毕业之后呢，呃，可以留在法国发展，好、哦，我觉得，呃，这个跟一般，呃，像我们早期去念的话，都是念，呃，综合大学，大学的话呢，因为它比较没有跟企业结合，它就是走学术路线做研究的，所以呢，就比较没有这样子的一个管道，而且我们那个时候呢，呃，这个居留的政策呢也比较严格，你就是拿学生签证过去，好、哦，那你念硕士两年，就是两年时间到，你就要回来，好、哦，比较没有办法。呃，做延签这样子的一个动作。那另外呢，就是呃，关于留学法国呢，其实有很多福利哈、哦。那呃，这边呢也跟同学呃说明一下，呃，除了一般学生都会享有的，例如说呃，交通月票、捷运票啊，或者是呃，大学餐厅的这些优惠，除了这些哈、哦，我想很多国家都有，但是呢，我没有听到有任何一个国家针对国际学生。还提供免费的健保。好、哦，我们呃同学呢，如果选择到法国留学，有申请到学校具备学生身份的话，到时候是可以免费加入法国的健保的哦。你看，像我们自己台湾人，我们在台湾，我们还要付健保费，有没有？每个月大家都要缴。可是呢，在法国，学生呢就是有这样子的一个福利，不管你是法国籍、外国籍，都可以免费加入。法国的鉴保，那这个也是强制性的，他到时候会要求你强制要加入他们的鉴保体系，因为呢，没有这个呃鉴保的话呢，万一啦哈，这种东西保险就是这样子，就是以防万一，呃，真的呃需要呃就是呃看病呃住院是很贵的，好、哦，所以这个也是强制性的，那只是学生呢不需要另外再付鉴保费，好、哦，呃还有。可以申请房补哦，这个呢，我也我不知道有其他有任何国家可以提供学生房屋的这个呃补助哈、哦。那这个呢，呃，在法国呢，呃，不分你是呃本国籍还是外国籍，只要具备学生身份，其实呢都有这样子的一个福利哈、哦。那最后呢，我们剩下三分钟，接下来呢就是进入到我们呃今天第二场的这个学校哈。哦那这个学校呢，呃，我们是把它翻译成巴黎理工学院了、啊、哈。但是同学有兴趣的话呢，可以呃留下来听一下，因为呃这个学校蛮新的，其实它是五所法国很好的理工学院的一个联盟哈、哦。那呃如果本身我们是理念理工科的话呢，可以去查一下，法国最好的理工学院就是 e c o l e Polytechnic。那这个呢，它不是 e c o l e e c o l e 法文是 school 的意思啊，它叫做 a n s i t u t Polytechnic。那这个 a n s i t u t 下面就有 e c o l e Polytechnic， 还有其他四所学校。等一下呢，呃，同学可以呃那个呃进一步的呃了解。那呃这些学校呢，都是法国排名非常好的理工学院。我们所谓的这种什么名校系统大学校，在法国他们是有在做排名的。可是，如果是一般综合大学，法国的大学都是公立的，所以他们比较没有在做排名。好，那这种名校系统的呃学校是有排名的。那呃，再过一分钟，我们就要跟学校连线了。好，那这个是非常好的学校。那希望同学呢，呃，那个把握机会留下来继续听。那呃，任何有关于留学法国的问题呢，反正法国教育中心呢，呃，办公室就在台北。到时候都可以再跟法国教育中心，就是 Campus Friends 联系。OK， 那我先讲到这边。
我再把时间交回给主持人，谢谢。呃，我们的 Institute Polytechnic 的白衣的呃讲者，那一样这边提醒一下，刚刚进入会议的同学，嗯、呃，我们等一下 Q&A 发问的方式会在你的 Webinar 的 function， 呃，共同列上面会有一个 question， 嗯、呃，这边留下你的文字讯息，最后我们会呃大约十五分钟，呃，会有我们这边再跟讲师一起连线，然后为大家同学解答。Hello, Nicholas. Today we're very glad to have you all with us. I、uh, believe you're gonna have a very brief introduction of、um, uh, Institute Polytechnic de Paris for us. So let's handle the session for you now. Okay. Good evening, everyone.、Uh, yes. Shall I start now?、Uh, yes,、yeah. you can broadcast it now. Okay. So I switch off my my webcam in order to to have the whole presentation of my PPT. Okay. Okay,、um, so this is the agenda for the for the webinar today.、Um, uh, first part is the presentation of Institut Polytechnique de Paris.、Uh, the second part is、uh, more focused on our graduate school who are composing the Institut Polytechnique de Paris.、Um, the third part,、uh, third part, sorry, is the programs that we offer at Institut Polytechnique de Paris. And finally, as you as you may know. The questions and answers、uh, session. Okay, so we are going to give you more information about this brand new institution.、Uh, it was、uh, created legally last year in May of 2019,、uh, but the five schools who compose Institut Polytechnique de Paris are a long existing institution and are working together for quite a long time. Um, as you can see, the five schools are Ecole Polytechnique, Ensta Paris, Ensai Paris, Telecom Paris, and Telecom Sud Paris. So、um, we will give you,、uh, I will give you more specific information about those schools later on. Where we, are we located?、Um, we are、uh, located just at、um, around 20, 20 kilometers from from Paris. Uh, it's、uh, in the south of Paris.、Um, from the campus to Paris, it takes only 30 minutes by public transportation.、Um, schools are located throughout the campus, but you can walk easily from school to school.、Uh, in fact, the longest distance is 1.5 kilometers between、uh, Telecom Paris and Ensta Paris. Of course, there are obvious, obviously accommodations. Um, housing are distributed、uh, throughout the campus.、Uh, one close to Ensta Paris, just over there.、Uh, another one close to Ensa、e、Paris and、uh, Ecole Polytechnique, and others so,、uh, so, um, close to Telecom Paris and Telecom Sud Paris over there, and another one there.、Uh, you have, of course, several education facilities such as libraries, labs. R&D centers, as you can see, EDF, Danone,、uh, CEA, Oriba, Photovoltaic Institute,、uh, Thales, and uh, um, in uh, in this uh, uh, area, we will have a total R&D center also.、Um, <clears throat> on this picture, you probably can't see it, but、uh, it's a really a green area.、Uh, the campus is surrounded by fields and woods,、uh, which is、uh, really good. And the campus, of course, is well equipped for extracurricular activities,、uh, such as sports and cultural activities. You can have also、um, food tastings.、Uh, it's、uh, it's good for you if you if you like to, to eat.、Um, these activities are run by student association,、uh, which is good because it's a way to meet and to discover others. Um, through、um, common passion. The goal of、uh, Institut Polytechnique de Paris is to be one of the best institutions worldwide, focusing on research activities within its scope, meaning covering all scientific fields, getting a very high level of education, keeping close connection with industry and innovation, and of course, encouraging entrepreneurship. 
Our campus is already recognized as one of the top eight innovation clusters in the world. Currently, we have in total 7,500 students, almost 1,000 faculty members with a high percentage of international students. I think it's around 30% uh, of uh, international professors. Um, 30 research labs in all scientific fields. And probably, as you may know, our institutions are well known in their domain for a very long time. Uh, Ecole Polytechnique and, and Stapari were created in the 18th century. Telecomparis in the 19th century and NSAE and Telecom Sudbury in the, in the 20th century. Um, they are all recognized as the elite institution in France in their domain. They are also well known in the world. As an example, uh, the rankings of Institut Polytechnique de Paris, Ecole Polytechnique and Telecom Paris. For the first time, the Institut Polytechnique de Paris is ranked in the Shanghai, uh, the Shanghai Global Ranking of Academic Subjects. The results by subject are already very, very good because uh, we have 37, we are, we are 37 in, in math, 38 in physics, 42 in, in statistics, and really good results in computer science, uh, telecommunication again. Um, and of course, as you can see, we have also a good ranking for the CWUR uh, ranking, 30, 35 in, in, in worldwide. So it's, it's really good. Uh, as you can see, Ecole Polytechnique Ecole Polytechnique, sorry, is well represented in, in France and in the world, especially for the employability, uh, the internalization, and the number of Nobel Prize. There are several Nobel Prize who are coming or are graduating from, uh, from Ecole Polytechnique. Telecom Paris is the sing second in France in terms of employability and well ranked worldwide in their domains. I'm sure um, that the next years, uh, we will improve this ranking considerably. We will be part of uh, the, the, the QSC ranking and we'll be part uh, very soon to the THE uh, ranking. Let's carry on with our, our ecosystem. We have uh, developed uh, different partnerships, um, an economic alliance with the top European business school, HEC, uh, a strong link in research with the other best national research centers such as uh, CNRS, the French National Center for Scientific Research, and CEA, the French Alternative Energies and Atomic, Atomic sorry, Energy Commission. Uh, we are also a member of institutional networks in Europe with Eurotech, uh, in US with Columbia University, and of course, in France, with universities and institutional alliances, such as the um, uh, Université Paris-Saclay and Paritech. What is specific to our institution is the partnerships with companies. All schools of Institut Polytechnique de Paris have a close connection with companies. These companies are interested by our trainings and research, and therefore you will find the top companies in all sectors connected with the scientific fields we developed. On this slide, you just have only a few numbers of partners. For example, I can give you um, EDF is the French energy supplier. Um, PSA is the Europe's second largest vehicle manufacturer. Airbus is an international reference in the aerospace sector. Total is a world leader in the sector of energies. And we say BNP Paribas is the third bank in the world. These partnerships are on different levels, meaning that we have um, a strong interaction with companies by developing new educational and research programs through shares, being part of the training by giving lectures and conferences, and offering, of course, internships and jobs. De facto, we find many alumni in very important position within these companies. Here is a short list of famous alumni who are proof of the excellence of our education. If you look on the job position of those alumni, you can see the diversity of possible careers. 
a top level scientist in academia like Rose Dieng, specialist in uh, artificial intelligence, prize winner of several prestigious awards. You have also a top level manager in worldwide known company like Bernard Arnault, CEO of LVMH, the luxury goods group, sorry. Or you can have also Jérôme Guillain, president of Tesla, the famous car company. You can also get a civil servant career in your country as a minister like Aurélie Adamsou. You can also achieve outstanding success as a top entrepreneur like Julie, Luc Julia, for example, creator of the Siri application that I'm sure a lot of you are using. Now he's working for Samsung, but he used to work for Apple. Or maybe you probably know also Jean-Luc Vaillant, co-creator of LinkedIn, and Oscar Salazar, uh, co-founder of Uber. And as a, scientist, as a scientist, Nobel Prize winner Gérard Mourou in 2018 in physics, Professor Mourou is actually a professor of, uh, at Ensta Paris and Ecole Polytechnique. So this part is presentation of schools who are composing uh, the Institut Polytechnique de Paris. First of all, let's start with a short description of um, Ecole Polytechnique. The school was created in 1794 few years after the French Revolution, if you know, uh, 10 years after uh, creation, the school obtained its military, military status. What does it mean? It means that Polytechnic now, of course, is no longer a military academy, but the institution supervised by the French Ministry of Defense provides military training for engineers with a French, only with a French nationality. Here are some key facts. Ecole Polytechnique is the most prestigious school uh, in France, uh, for sure, is the rank number one. And it's the unique school among the five who offers undergraduate program. So you can get a bachelor degree at Ecole Polytechnique. You will see there's other programs proposed, but uh, this is the only school where you can get a bachelor degree. The school is also the largest in size and in number of students. And very important uh, key, fa key fact is that a high percentage of students pursue their studies in a PhD, which is not so uh, so so easy in France. Okay. Ensai Paris. Uh, Ensai was founded over around seventy-five years ago, uh, seventy-five years ago. NSA is a specialized, is specialized sorry, in three fields of education and research. Data science, economics and quantitative sociology, finance and actuarial science. In each of these fields, NSA's approach put a strong emphasis on mathematical modeling as well as empirical approaches based on data. NSA pedagogical project is multidisciplinary. Okay, it offers a special blend of economics, financial modeling, statistics, econometrics, and machine learning. Okay, Ensta Paris. Ensta Paris is the oldest French grande école, created in France in 1741. Um, at that time, France was often battling England and therefore needed to train highly qualified naval engineers. So now today, uh, Ensta Paris trains leaders in engineering, research and entrepreneurship in the fields of transportation, energy, complex system engineering and engineering mathematics. Um, I won't go too much in, in, into detail on all the key figures, but uh, you can note that Ensta Paris is very international with 27% of international students coming from over 30 countries. Um, also, a really important point, 30% of the students are women, which is quite remarkable for an injury school in France. Uh, and Stapari has, um, of course, a strong research activity with six research units with uh, which are applying mathematics, 
mechanical um, engineering, computer science and system engineering, uh, chemistry and chemical engineering, applied optics and applied economics. Um, uh, in fact, two of them have joint laboratories with top companies in their domains, uh, EDF and uh, Naval Group. Telecom Paris. Uh, Telecom Paris was founded in 1878. Uh, is the school where the word telecommunication was invented. Uh, today, um, Telecom Paris deals with all the major uh, digital fields and combine them in a multidisciplinary approach. Um, there's applied mathematics, computer science, physics, electrical engineering, economics and social sciences. The school places itself on the wall vertical of information technologies, from hardware to the upper layers, and studies the economic and social impact of these technologies. We therefore train engineers with a vast field of ICT skills and according to three main profiles, transformers, entrepreneurs, inventors. The school relies on recognized research laboratories on major topics in ICT. Um, some figures, um, a very strong collaboration with companies in research, like all schools uh, in Institut Polytechnique de Paris, an highly internationalized school. We have around 44% of foreign students uh, in, in the school. Uh, five study tracks out of 14 are totally taught in English for the engineer program, uh, especially in uh, AI, data science, embedded systems, innovation. And of course, a um, uh, very important point, uh, we uh, Telecom Paris uh, has the largest French public ICT incubator with excellent results. Telecom Sud Paris. Telecom Sud Paris is the youngest of the five grandes écoles. It was founded in 1979. The school is a sister school of Telecom Paris. Just like her, Telecom, Paris, uh, Telecom Sud Paris trains engineers, entrepreneurs and scientists to design and drive digital transformation for the net economy and the benefit of society. Um, coursework is grounded in research conducted by the Samovar Research Lab, a unique uh, research lab uniting all fields relevant to developing communication system. Telecom Sud Paris has two campuses, one in Evry and one in Palaiso. It's very specific to this, uh, to this school. It means that the first and the second year of the engineer program take place at every campus and, uh, and the third year specialized major take place at, at the Palaiso campus. You will understand that when I present the, the curriculum. So let's, let's continue with the uh, curriculums offered by Institut Polytechnique de Paris. Uh, here you have an overview of what is proposed and you can see that all degrees are offered from bachelor to PhD. And also you can see that we have also continuing education, okay? Regarding the education areas, except for medicine and architecture who are taught in specialized institutions in France, all the fields are covered. All topics with a strong background in mathematics. In fact, um, math is uh, math is very very uh, is very uh, important, um, uh, and you need to have a very strong background in mathematics because math is the common core of scientific education in France. So all the schools are great in math. I would say that also physics is important, especially at Ecole Polytechnique and, and Stapari. And um, you can find soft skills in every school because it is really important uh, part of, of our curriculum. Now let's focus uh, on Master of Science in Engineering, what we call Diplôme d'Ingénieur. Diplôme d'Ingénieur is the most prestigious degree in France at the master level. 
is widely recognized all over the world. Graduates are highly valued by, uh, by, the, by top companies. As soon as you obtain the Diplôme d'ingénieur, you get a master grade, which allow you to pursue your studies on a PhD. The diploma is based on a very high level scientific knowledge, focusing on uh, multidisciplinary education. You have a strong core on mathematics, like, like I said, and also physics, but then depending on your field of interest and the school, you can have a specialization. Specific to Diplôme d'ingénieur, you have also uh, courses about management, innovation, entrepreneurship, languages, communication. This is very important skill to get a top position in company. And of course, to complete your training, an internship in industry or in laboratories is mandatory. We have an excellent stud student faculty ratio of one professor for five students, which is all allows you to interact easily and frequently with your professors. As I previous, previously said, we are very selective, but how, how can we be so selective? Oops, so this is the French curriculum of the Diploma d'ingénieur. On your left, this is the university uh, curriculum. This is really uh, a typical uh, European uh, curriculum. Three years for a bachelor, two years for a master degree, okay, and then three years for a, a PhD, okay. For students who wants to go to, uh, who wants to study for diploma d'ingénieur, it's totally different. At the end of high school, you have a national exam. We call it baccalaureate, okay, um, and the best student of baccalaureate, uh, the top 5% in math can join the what we call the preparatory classes. Okay? The preparatory, preparatory classes are really focused on math, physics, sometimes chemistry, but there's also French and, ling um, and foreign languages. But it's very, very intensive courses uh, in math and physics. At the end of these two years, there's a, another national competitive exam where you can get a ranking and the top 0.5% of students can join our schools, meaning that we receive top students in France in math and physics. Okay, as soon as they get uh, um, an admission for our school, they will go for three years or four years for a diploma uh, for diploma d'ingénieur de l'école polytechnique. Uh, this is the only school with four years, but the rest are um, three years, the three years program. So um, in year one, again, it's um, it's a common core for the engineering uh, program. Okay, so uh, the first year is based again in math, physics, but you have also humanities and soft skills. You have uh, also some, some courses about um, uh, computer science, if you choose Telecom Paris, um, and etc. Then year two and year three are the years for specialization. Okay, uh, you can choose uh, your specialization in this in these years. Very important thing is that at the end of the Diplôme d'ingénieur, you can directly enter to a PhD. Okay, it's it's really important because you don't have exam, you don't. It's, it's just to be, uh, you just need to be a really good student, and then you can you can follow your your studies, you can pursue the studies in a PhD. Okay. So now master programs. Um, Master programs, we have a wide range of masters, 15 majors, but several specializations. You can, you can see it on your, on your right, uh, on the right of the, the, the slide. Um, as you can see, there, all the domains are, are represented. 
uh, you can find biology and health, but you also can find ICT, you can find pure mathematics, you can find mathema applied mathematics, you can find physics, sociology, um, uh, transport, uh, mobility networks. There's everything you can have in other uh, university. Um, really important point. Um, most of the masters are taught in English. There's few number of masters who are uh, taught in, in French. Um, even the, the, the master who are taught in French, you have an international focus. It means that during your studies, even if it's, uh, it's a French uh, curriculum, you will have uh, courses in English, but you will have also um, English courses, and it means English lessons. But you, you will have also different possibilities of, um, of um, learning a um, foreign language, for example, uh, Portuguese, Spani Spanish, um, Japanese, etc. etc. Okay? Um, the, I, I forget to say, but uh, the master programs are like over master program in Europe, it's, it's a two year program, and um, most of the time you have an internship. It's a compulsory again. Uh, you, the intention can be in a company or it can be uh, in a lab, of course. Um, because in France, we, we don't separate um, uh, the professional aspect and uh, research aspect. In, in your master, you will have research, you will have also um, some, some skills uh, for your professional life. So uh, it, this is why it's preparing you for professional life also for doctoral study. Now, uh, the PhD and the PhD tracks program. Just, um, I would like to, to start, first of all, um, to, uh, to show you an overview of all scientific field covered by school. Uh, on, on the left side, you can find your topic of interest and then identify the school who offers it. Uh, however, uh, I invite you to, to visit the website of the schools because for the same scientific field, you will have several variations. For example, specific specialization for computer science or mathematics. Okay? So it's very important. You know. So, uh, PhD. Um, PhD in France is it's a three-year program, okay? But uh, most of the time, uh, it's three years and a half um, to get uh, your PhD. Um, why why is it uh, three years and it, it, needs, it, need, it needs to be three years? It's because the PhD is founding, okay? So uh, it is mandatory to give uh, a founding to a PhD student. Um, so it could be your laboratory who give you the founding. It could be uh, a company, if you work uh, both for a company and a uh, doctoral school, or it could be uh, the French government because there's scholarships, there's uh, um, fundings from, from the French government, for example, the FL program. Okay, the FL program is for 12, 12 months, uh, I think, uh, but it helps you, for example, if you want to come for a uh, course supervised. Uh, PhD or a joint PhD, okay? Um, we have, of course, strong partnership with national and international research institute. It means that you can, you can, like I said, you can have a joint, uh, joint uh, PhD or co-supervised uh, PhD. Um, we have, of course, uh, a link with high tech uh, companies and multi multinational groups. And uh, of course, European Networks program. Um, it's written that we, we have a personal tutoring. It's true because uh, your uh, supervisor will uh, help you to improve the quality uh, uh, of your research, uh, but also help you with your training. Okay, um, and it's very good because um, sometimes it, it, it helps you to also to find. Um, where you want to pursue uh, your professional career, okay? Um, another way to get a PhD track, it's the, um, sorry, to get a PhD degree, it's the PhD track. 
So uh, PhD track, it's a combination of a master, two years of master and three years of a PhD. Uh, I think you, you know that because in US um, it's, uh, it's also offered. So you, you, can, um, you, can, um, you can have it in, a, in, a, in our institute. It's, um, it's very um, specific to Institute Polytechnique because um, you can you, I think you can't find it in, uh, in other institution in France. Um, very important point, uh, this uh, PhD track um, is uh, waived uh, of uh, tuition fees. So it means that you will not have to pay tuition fees, okay? Uh, but you have to be really focused in the research and uh, you need to be identified as really a good student and uh, to, to pursue and you want to pursue your studies in a, in a, in a PhD. Uh, at Institut Polytechnique, you have uh, two doctoral schools. Okay, uh, I, Institut Polytechnique Doctoral School and EDMH, I will present you now. The first one is um, with uh, HEC, that you know uh, and probably uh, uh, you have seen it on, on my previous uh, slide. Um, this uh, doctor also has a multidisciplinary approach in six fields, okay? Economics, management, and social sciences, but you can ha have also ICT, uh, computer science, uh, data science, artificial intelligence, etc. Et uh, there's a high percentage of women in, um, in this uh, doctoral uh, school, so I encourage you to, to come if you are a woman. Um, uh, we have a lot of, uh, f uh, of uh, international students, as you can see, uh, almost 50% of, uh, of international students are, are PhD students in, in this doctoral school. Um, of course, we have a lot of uh, research laboratories, 32. The second one is with uh, Paris Saclay University and Paris Sciences de Lettres University, PSF. Okay? And this is really focused in, uh, in mathematical, mathematical, sorry, mathematical fields. Uh, you can have pure mathematics, applied mathematics, mathematics at interfaces, okay? This is really important because this is the only uh, doctoral school in France who can give you this opportunity to have uh, all mathemati mathematical fields, okay? This is very uh, unique. Um, this uh, doctoral school is an excellent uh, in research. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's a lot of uh, prices, especially uh, fields, middle fields uh, that you probably know. Uh, Ten uh, in uh, just for the just for these uh, doctoral schools, which is really important. And again, we have a lot of international students in our school with uh, forty-six percent. It's quite a high number of international students. So uh, now uh, we, we, I have finished with my presentation and we can continue with the final part, the question and answer session. Thank you, Nicholas. Uh, it's a very detailed presentation. Uh, so now we can have questions from the audience. If you have it, you can leave your map uh, under webinar question function. Uh, first of all, uh, could you, uh, since we have um, a lot of like high school, men's school, uh, can you also give us some um, brief introduction about the application, for example, how, what's the channels to apply and um, how uh, students can prepare for their application material? Okay, um, of course, there's a different way to uh, to come to Institut Polytechnique de Paris. It depends on the curriculums. For example, if you come for the Diplôme d'ingénieur, there's a, like an um, um, international uh, admission uh, entrance. Uh, it means that you have uh, several steps of uh, admission. The first one is the, I would say, the, the normal uh, step, which is the, your academic background. We, have, uh, we, we ask for different documents. Uh, for example, CV, uh, statement of purpose, transcripts, etc., etc. And then we uh, we select student for the for the next step, which is uh, 
written test and oral test. Okay, uh, it means that you have um, written tests, of course, in uh, in scientific fields, math, physics, uh, depending also of your uh, specialization and, and, and major. Uh, for example, if you do, uh, I don't know, uh, math, pure math, uh, you have uh, uh, you have mathematical uh, test. Um, you uh, also have um, like motivation uh, motivation in interview, okay, which is very important because uh, we need to know if you are really interested by the school, by by the by France, by uh, by Paris, or uh, what is your motivation for uh, for the degree, for the curriculum, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then, of course, there are several juries who uh, admitted you to to the school. But uh, I would say that the calendar it, it starts in September, and uh, you have uh, the answer in the beginning of December. Okay, um, this calendar uh, allows you to um, to be um, presented for the FL program. Okay, we select the best students uh, in, for, for for this admission process, and we uh, we present them to the FL program. For uh, for the master programs, it's different. Uh, you have a different uh, recruitment campaign. It starts in January. Okay, um, you, I think you have uh, three rounds of uh, com um, recruitment campaign, um, and it's the classical. Uh, I would say the, the classical uh, admission. Again, we ask for documents. We have a look on your documents. You have. Uh, just uh, sometimes um, it depends on the, the master program, but you have uh, a motivation interview uh, with a professor or with uh, colleagues from uh, international department, et cetera, et cetera. And then you get the admission, okay? Um, there's a platform for that. You can uh, have a look on, uh, on the website. Every, every, every um, admission process are, are available on, the, on our website. So you can have a look on uh, in different uh, pages, it's, it's really uh, um, well explained, so no problem for, for that. For the PhD and the PhD track is the same as um, as the master program. You have a different uh, round for the uh, for the recruitment campaign. Again, your file. Uh, again, maybe a, a, a motivation interview. That's all. Sure. Uh, you haven't mentioned like there will be like a written test and then an interview. Uh, mm -hmm. What is, uh, how the uh, written test is um, is working? Uh, should the student take it online or should they actually fly to your campus and take the test in person? No. Um, what we used to do it's the we um, we organized with Campus France and uh, Alliance Française or uh, the French Embassy or the French Consulate. Um, we organize a session, a test session uh, in, in physics, I mean, uh, on site. Uh, so uh, we send, of course, all the uh, test exam to uh, the person and the, the student can go to, I don't know, if it's open to, uh, for example, to, to Taipei, it's, uh, you can go to a campus front to Taipei and then do the, um, the, the test, uh, the survival test. And for the uh, oral in uh, the oral uh, test, um, a group of uh, professors are going to, to Taiwan, for example, and they uh, manage to have a face-to-face -face, uh, interview with the student. It means that uh, we have, a, of course, a calendar organized um, for for students. And again, we uh, we need the help. From, uh, from campus France of the French embassy, or sometimes from uh, uh, our partners in, in uh, institution. I mean, for example, in uh, uh, in, in, tai in Taiwan, it's um, Taiwan. It could be uh, Taiwan Tech or it could be uh, uh, other university in, 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 in Taiwan. So the, the student doesn't need to to, to fly to France to, to do the, the international admission. Then um, still regarding the application, uh, is there any language requirement for you know, applications? I mean, generally for all the school? 
Mm -hmm. Bobo score, minimum score for that. Uh, yes, there's a there's requirements. You you right. I uh, didn't mention it, but uh, um, yes, um, of course, if you choose uh, a program taught in English, uh, the French is not necessary. Okay, it's not compulsory. Uh, but if you really want to enjoy your stay in France, you need to acquire a, min a minimum uh, level of, uh, of French in order to discuss or maybe to go to supermarket, etc., etc. Okay. Um, the minimum, uh, the minimum uh, level required for uh, English and um, uh, I would say for French later, but for English it's uh, B2. You need to really to, uh, to get a B2 level. It means that C1, uh, you must start C1, uh, C1 level for for English or English programs. Okay, B2 is, uh, I mean, it's the common uh, common level for every universities in the world. So mm -hmm. it's, it's normal to, uh, to ask for a B2 level in uh, for uh, schools. But um, for French, it's different. Um, um, we ask for a B1. Okay, you, you need to be uh, in the B1 level to get, uh, to pursue your studies for French programs or, you know, or schools. So, um, but, but it, it, it's, it's needed, really, uh, to, uh, you need to have a, a B1 because uh, uh, courses in French are quite difficult to, to have if you don't have really a sufficient uh, level, especially in Moscow. And, then, um, and I, I, I forgot to say, but uh, uh, you probably know, but uh, uh, when you want to get a degree in France, you need to acquire a certain level of French. Okay. Especially if you want to do the diploma d'ingénieur. Diploma d'ingénieur. If you want to have a diploma d'ingénieur, you need to have a, a B2 level in French or in English. Then, uh, uh, regarding still regarding the application, uh, if the student um, is interested in multiple like several programs in different school uh, of mm -hmm. um, polytechnic de Paris. Uh, does he or she has to apply separate to each school, or do you have a united platform for them? No, we have a united platform for that. Like I said, the, 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 the difference uh, is uh, for the curriculum. If you want to do diploma d'ingénieur, if you want to do master program, or if you want to do PhD, uh, mm -hmm. there's different platform, okay? Uh, no, um, even for PhD and uh, master program, you can do it in, in the same platform. Okay, so you can apply for different uh, different programs and I mean, different masters, uh, different uh, PhD with the unique platform for that. But for diploma engineer, it's totally different. Mm -hmm. Can you probably show us uh, where we can find a platform? Is it on a website or? It's on the website. You have a, you have a link who. Uh, um, yeah, who um, uh, give you um, like a, um, a link to, to go to direct to the platform and you, you have everything you have to, of course, to, to, to subscribe and then you, you, can, uh, uh, you can fill in your, your file, you can um, download everything and yeah, it's, it's really easy to, to use it. Uh, you have mentioned the uh, PhD and PhD track, and you've mm -hmm. mentioned like PhD is actually funded. Uh, could you probably give us like, more details about this? Uh, should the uh, student apply for the funding, and is any what is the what are those uh, qualification uh, mm -hmm. for PhD? Okay, um, the thing is that when you are when you want to be a PhD student in France, um, you need you need to um, know uh, some professors or maybe some research team in, uh, in the school or um, in the university and maybe to contact uh, to contact them and to have uh, really a, a strong contact with them uh, and then this is the supervisor in France who uh, help you to, um, to apply for the FL program for example or other scholarship for example I know that in other countries you have specific uh, scholarships, so the, the institution apply for, for the student for, for that. 
but in Taiwan, I don't know how it works. Um, but yes, most of the time, the students are helped by, uh, by a person in, 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 the, in, the, in the school uh, for the application for the scholarship. For the founding by the laboratory, it's very really easy. As soon as you get the admission, um, the, your supervisor will ask the laboratory to find to found uh, the students. So it's not a, it's not a, it's not difficult to get it. Okay, but it means that the student must be really good and um, must show an interest in the, in the in the topic of the research team and be uh, identified by the research research team. Okay. Uh, for the uh, maybe I forgot uh, one way. But the company, the company is different. The company most of the time um, it's um, I would say it's a long way experience because uh, the, the person who get the what we call a cifre uh, in in our schools. Um, they have already a link with the company. It means that they did an internship. Uh, they did, uh, I don't know, uh, a gap year in, in the company. And then the, the, the company said, okay, we, we are really interested in, in, in you and we want to find you. Uh, is it possible for you to do a PhD? Here? And we, 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 um, we will uh, um, admit you in our R&D department. And of course, uh, you will get a salary. This is how it works most of the time. Since we talk about the scholarship funding, uh, can we also uh, can you also give us a brief uh, like numbers of figures about the tuition um, like in general in your school uh, for master or PhD program? What be the tuition for each program or like each school? Okay, um, so uh, again, it depends on the the programs. Um, for the di diploma d'ingénieur. Uh, it could be um, it could be two two thousand uh, euros per year um, up to uh, five thousand euros per year. It depends of the uh, of the school. Uh, Ecole Polytechnique uh, Polytechnic is um, is uh, more than that, but I don't remember exactly the the, the uh, how much it costs. Uh, of course, if you have a question about that, I can answer you later on. But um, um, for the uh, master program, it's, you can have uh, a master program. Uh, in fact, you have two different uh, type of uh, programs. You have the, uh, the programs, uh, the, I would say the um, classic uh, master program and the international program. The international programs are more expensive than um, and the classic uh, masters. The classic masters is the, the same price as all masters program in France, but the international program is more like 6,000 euros. Okay. Um, and uh, of course for PhD, the PhD, uh, the PhD, like I said, if you if you do the PhD track, it's all the all the tuition fees are waived. And if you do a PhD, the PhD is uh, is not that, that much. It's uh, less than uh, one uh, one thousand euro. Or, or, so it's it's not so it's not so it's expensive. And there's uh, also education uh, education uh, program um, continuing education programs. This is totally different because uh, most of the time it's for students who already did an ex uh, professional experience and. Uh, Usually, the, the company uh, offered the, the tuition fees, and the tuition fees are quite uh, expensive, like uh, it could be uh, 13,000 13, euros uh, per, per year. Mm -hmm. But again, most of, most of the students who are doing the uh, continuing education, um, they are waived, off, uh, I mean, waived by the companies or waived by, I don't know, institutions. And we also mentioned, like, uh, since, uh, say, French is very important, especially if the student want to probably proceed their studies uh, in the next level or you want to either uh, uh, involve in a career in France. I believe, uh, like, French is very important to them. So does the school provide any French courses for the student, like, for language learning? 
they yes. would like to. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, uh, it's um, it's quite compulsory. Even if you do uh, program research in English, we offer French uh, courses. It's for free, so it's a great opportunity to improve your French or maybe to to start to learn French. Uh, but yes, for uh, every program we provide with uh, French uh, French courses. Yes, and um, to to uh, to add to your to your comment, uh, French is of course is um, if you want to pursue your professional career in France, it's 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 better if you can speak French. But now in Paris, uh, there's a lot of international companies. Uh, they recruit international profile. Um, in Paris, uh, it's a really international city. So even if you don't speak a word of French, you can you can live in Paris easily. Sure. Uh, I think we are almost the end of our session. Uh, we have mm -hmm. uh, five minutes over. Uh, so thank you, uh, Nicolas, for the explanation. Thank you. Uh, if you don't mind, like, can you also leave us a like official email? Like, students have a specific question they can contact you here. Yes. Um. Yeah. Uh, on, on my presentation, there's a. Um. I think there's this. Um, uh. Sorry. Paul. There's a yeah, well, email address, and uh, uh, of course, I can share you the the presentation, and you can you can find or, the, or after the presentation. We can because I, I'm not, I, I'm not the. If I receive all a lot of email, I'm not the right, maybe not the right person to answer to all the questions. Um, okay. Depending on for the curriculum, again, uh, it's better if you have a look on, uh, on the website and um, there's a generic, generic uh, email uh, to get information from, uh, yeah, from master program, from PhD program, etc. Et okay, and I think that's everything for today. We can do a wrap up now. Um, thank you very much for the introduction. Thank you very much. Um, sure, you have provided the, the media, social media, website information people can just look up to, uh, either on websites or on uh, uh, Twitter and uh, the LinkedIn. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Bye.